Hello everybody and welcome back to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at Zynga! Oh, did you hear that? Ooh, there's a bell in there. Oh, I'm excited. Dennis Harmson and Esme Spargaran. Uh, this is from 999 Games, 2 to 4 players, 15 minutes, ages 8 to 99. You're 100, you're, sorry, you're disqualified. Zynga! Choose the right colors and numbers, but most of all, make sure that you are the fastest. But watch out, if you make too many mistakes, you're out of the game. Everybody ready? Let the dice roll. Zynga! All right, forgot to pre-score this. Bam, here we go. There's a bell in here, so let's find the bell first. First things first, how terrible is this? Oh, you even slam it down and it continues to ring. It doesn't mute itself. Interesting. Got pads here for different player counts. Uh, these are the same sheet front and back. So if you're one, you'll always have the 10 in the top right corner, it looks like. All right. All right. And then you have different numbers depending on which sheet you are. Front and back is going to be the same. Here's them dice. Here's pencils. Look, I appreciate that games come with these pencils, but they are practically useless every time I've ever tried to use them. I like the dice though. It's interesting that the blue and the orange die are the only ones with white pips on them. And yet, I mean, yellow having black pips does make sense, but the red green, that's surprising. Anyway, so cool looking dice, vibrant colors and everything. Plastic, not wooden dice like a lot of games like this would come with. So let's take a look at the rules here. Lots of languages. Lots of languages. N for Englis. Englis. All right. Short game summary. I'm all about that. In Zynga, players roll the dice and cross off the numbers they roll in the right colors. Every time a player sees a correct combination, he can hit the bell and cross off the number, also on another player's turn. So speed plays a key role. The player who is the first to cross off a series of five numbers in a row wins the game. But watch out. Don't make too many mistakes, because when you make your third fault, you're out of the game. All right, so speed game, roll the dice, try to combine numbers, right? I'm guessing the white die is wild or something. The active player can choose a single colored die or can make a combination with one white die and one colored die. Ha ha ha. The passive player can only make a combination of one white die and a colored die. So you can't use one by itself. You've got sneeze. Extra. If a player is on a bell and calls out a combination of a color and the number that he has already crossed off, he can color in a field under the green plus. <laughs> There's that sneeze. All right, uh, top right of the corner of the score sheet. If this hadn't been done already, as soon as they color in the third field under extra, he may immediately cross off a number of his choice. After that, this option is no longer available. So you can do that once per game. All right. Uh, and then there's the pawn. There's some explanation of what the pawn does. Game end. As soon as you cross off five in a row, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, call it Zynga and win the game. All right. Well, I mean, I've seen worse sounding things. This sounds fine. So there you go, folks. Just a quick look here inside of Zynga, a game that I'm not sure needed to come with the bell. But hey, if you can ring a bell and bother everybody else playing games around you, go for it. That's what I say. Uh, that's a lifelong advice. You can quote me on it. So thanks for coming out to another Dice Tower daily unboxing video for Zynga from 999 Games. My name is Chris Yee. Hope you have yourselves a fantastic day.